Allow me to show you 2% of my power. It's a war between nations. Yo guys, before we start this video, I just want to remind you guys that I actually have a Discord server. There's a link to it in the description of all my videos. If you join this, you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. I post my music here. I'm usually answering questions about Shinobi Life 2 or any other games that I play on my channel. So if you want that and you just want to vibe with us, be sure to join the Wolf Den. So walk one people of today, it's me Shiver Away and Shinobi Life 2 just got another huge update. So we have Itachi's MS and what I was most excited for the Ten Tails mode. Now Ten Tails Jinjuriki mode, this mode is absolutely like it's busted. I like I it's my favorite mode in the game. I don't know if the strongest was definitely my favorite to use. I even like it better than the Jin cloaks and basically anything else. So in this video, I'm gonna first show showcase it and then I'll be showing you guys how you can actually get this cloak for yourself because a lot of you people don't know so let's get right into it all right so first I'm gonna be showing you guys just what uh, the mode so basically this is not a mode you can level up once you have it you just have it and yeah now before I even show you anything of what it does look at how this looks this is like this is so clean you got the orbs behind you it comes with the staff and you have the horns like it just looks really nice now pay no mind to the stats that it has because those will actually be buffed at the time I'm recording this that those are actually not the correct stats and they're actually a lot higher so it, it's even stronger than it is right now so right now first I'm gonna show you the, what your M1s are this is like like this alone like it is so devastating that like that's what it does and the range of this it's it's really OP too yeah, and the fact that it doesn't do like any knockback too, that's what like uh, you're getting your full strength for it. So you have super range, super damage, it's just really nice. Now now I'm gonna show you the Z spec of this, and this is it's a, one of my favorite Z specs. If not, like it's gotta be one of the best in the game. So look at that. You got that? Now look at the damage. Look at the damage of that. Each one of those orbs was 10k. 11k actually. Now, okay, now, and if that that's not all this has to offer. Now, it has a pretty long cooldown, but while that's on cooldown, it actually also has a Q spec just when you're in this mode. So look at this. We can do that, and look at the damage of that, and look at the cooldown. That is actually busted. That is actually busted. So you can, you can just be doing this. Like, if the M1s alone don't kill them, like, which it usually will, then you can just... Oh my, you can use this right after. And look at the damage. And if you're lucky, well, I can actually double hit. So that, that's another thing that makes it really overpowered. Now, another thing this can do is with this mode, you can actually fly. It takes stamina, not a uh, mode or chakra. That's what I really like. You can fly for a decent amount of time depending on your stats. You, you go at a decent speed and of course, while you're up here, you can still use Jutsu. You can use your uh, Z spec. It's like, it's really strong. Like this is very, very strong. It's going to be meta for PVP. I can tell you that much. Alright, so now I'll actually be showing you guys how you can get this mode. And so, basically right now I'm in war mode. And so in war mode, you're gonna be fighting Zetsu NPCs that spawn in waves. And basically every few waves of those, every few rounds, there'll be a boss. At the very end, there'll be the Ten Tails boss. And once you get that, there's a chance of it dropping after you defeat him. So, there's a 1 out of the 50 chance, I believe, of it spawning. So, right now I'm just gonna be showing you how you can play war mode it's uh you in, it basically when you go to your main menu just scroll up a bit and you'll see war mode and that's actually how you get in this place so i'm when the round starts i'm going to show you what you do basically how you get to it and how you get mode and of course i just i'm gonna have to be using the cloak because it is just so much fun to use and it's my favorite thing in rpg right now so when this starts i'll, I'll basically i'll show you um how you play war mode Okay, so round one. When round when the first round starts, you'll you'll get spawned in. And it's best to do this with a lot of people. It's kinda hard alone. It's actually really hard to win if you're alone. 
So you see these Zetsu NPCs, they're gonna auto track onto bait the the force to death right here. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna attack them because you need to get rid of them, you need to kill all of them to win the round. And yeah, you basically you just want to stop them from de destroying uh, the um, force the, the force of death the monument here. So that's just what you gotta do. So that once that round is done, it's gonna move on to the next one. And uh, it might look easy now, but it's actually it it ramps up like it gets really really hectic at some point. So it's actually very very hard to do alone. You can do this in a private server with friends, but I'd rather like for me I think I'd rather just go in publics, have as many people as I can, and just make it as easy as possible. So of course, man, let's just see the Q spec of this again. This is actually. Oh man, yo! I love that. I actually love that. Now another thing about this mod, it, the mode for this doesn't even drain too fast. Uh, I I like that. Okay, yeah, you really want to make sure the the Zetsus are not uh, auto tracking onto the um onto the uh, yeah onto the force of death because if they do it, then it's it's gonna be really bad. Like if they're on the mansion, then like they will drain its health really really quickly. So we're we should be closing in on um, a, a boss round pretty soon. So let's just keep doing this round three. That's not bad. That's not bad. Doesn't take too long either. All right, let me get these things, dude. This is I'm sorry. This is just so fun. Like, yo, <laughs> dude, yo. <laughs> oh, of course, the freaking ash breath. Let me unwind them. Dude, the damage of the, like, there's, there's so much damage. Holy, yeah, that's, that's a lot. Alright, oh, as, as you can see, now, while it's focused there, there are some at the back that are going, and the health of the mansion is, it's going down, it's going down quick, so. Let me, uh, let me get rid of these. Get rid of these. There we go. Actually, let me, let me fly a bit. Get there faster. <laughs> Yo. Oh man. Alright, not bad. Wait. Let's move, uh. Actually, yeah, let, let me get some air so I can use my, uh. Disease spot. Okay, now, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. It does, it does get harder. See, now it's 20 now that we actually have to go up against. Like it, it's, it does ramp up, ramps up quite a bit actually. Like, uh, you basically now this is why you can't do this alone because no matter how strong you are or what your level is, you're not you can only really focus on the one side at once. So that's why I recommend that you get some people to do this. So let me get rid of these sides, and then you just I just got trust in my team to get the people on the other side, and that's how we're gonna do it. So yeah, killed those ones. Uh, this guy's getting these ones. I'll help him out a bit. Those are dead. Let's go over here. Get these ones, and they're dead too. Nice. All right. So now, right here, I believe this. Oh yeah, this is the uh, boss. This is the boss round. This isn't the ten tails yet, but this is just uh, one of the bosses you get every few rounds. Let me go find them. Where's the boss? The oh, all up there. Yeah. Okay. Let me, let me head down a bit. All right. So yeah, you know, touch your armor. It's gonna be a bit hard. Now they do have a lot of health, but you can depends on how many people have. You can uh, you can do this fairly quickly. It shouldn't take too long. Going here. All right, and now nearly there, nearly there. Oh, I ran out of mode. That's fine. Almost, almost. Yeah, uh, see, the trick is to really keep uh, bosses stun locked. That's what you. That's what you want to do, honestly. Kill this guy. There we go. And that round is over. So a few more of those, and then we will get to the the Ten Tails boss battle. 
Alright guys, so round 19 is just finishing up. Now round 20 is actually when you get to fight the Tentails, and we finally made it here. It did take a while, maybe like uh, 30 minutes, but we finally made it here. So now we actually get to fight the Tentails, so let's go away for him and uh, yeah. I think we'll be able to do it and there's as I said there's a 1 out of 50 chance of him uh, actually dropping this mode I'm using right now so right now there he is in all of his uh, masterful splendor so <laughs> let's go damn man he's pretty busted too he can uh so we, we are doing a good job of keeping him stun locked right now uh as I said I got a lot of people a lot of high level people so that's why uh, this is what you gotta do. You can't do this alone. Uh, it doesn't really matter what your stats are, how high level you are. It's, you just gotta do this with people. We're out now, as you can see, we're actually we're doing very good. We're doing very good. So, yeah. Just gotta keep spamming. Just keep spamming him. Keep him stun locked. Can't even move. Oh, we're close. We're see. We're already halfway there. See, the, the actual Ten Tails boss isn't even the tricky part. It's just the uh, getting up to this point. Alright, let's keep going, we just gotta keep spamming, keep spamming. Alright. And damn, yeah. <laughs> Hold me, he's almost dead. My mode's about to run out too, so. Uh, nice timing. Let's, uh, show it shouldn't be too long now. Alright. Almost there, almost. Oh, oh no, yeah. That's uh Okay, I think should be and there we go. And now it's dead. And like any other gin boss, there's um there's a chance of it spawning. Right now I don't think we actually got it. I do believe that the scroll itself will actually spawn when we got it, but yeah. So anyway, we made it there, we completed it, so, and we uh, did spawn, but it does have a chance of spawning again every 20 levels, so, basically that is how you actually get the cloak, you just keep doing that, it will take a while, because this is the best mode and the most rare mode in the game, so it will take a while, but with that, I'll end the video, so good luck getting it, have fun grinding, and I'll see you guys in the next one.